so you hold the historic place in the annals of GOB Radio Network. Um, mm -hmm. You're an original member of the Good Old Boys Radio Show with myself, yes. myself and Mario. And we, we started that show back in 2004. And it was kind of like a sketch comedy type show. We, I mean, we were kind of just doing whatever came to mind, reading rainbow skits, um, George W. Bush, Saddam Hussein skits. Yeah, Michael we were Jackson. Just, Michael Jackson, yeah, and my black uh, and my white. Cleo. Yeah, yeah you, you was Miss Cleo, yeah. I we was had Ms. a good Cleo. time. <laughs> we I did. Think I, I think I have a couple of those on tape still. Um, okay. <laughs> You so need just, to convert that to MP3 or something. I know you can do it. I know y'all can. Yeah, I got to I got to dig through and find it. I got to dig through and find it. So um just talk about just talk about the um, that experience, you know, being on a show that has, you know, continued some 16 17 years later and spawned a bunch of other um uh, babies as a result of that, you know? Yeah, I think that is so amazing that y'all did that and how y'all came to do that. And I'll tell you this, I don't think I've ever told you the story, Latroy, but like when y'all approached me about this, and then I think we were supposed to meet in Thompson, uh, the calf, to talk about it. And then I was just like, kind of scared. And I was like, I don't know what they got going on or what, what this show <laughs> is going to end up being, but um, I'm down because, you know, I'm always... I've always been down for whatever y'all wanted to do. And so like we went and talked, had this meeting and the meeting was pretty quick and like, y'all didn't really say much. And I was just like, um, <laughs> okay. So I guess we're just gonna, we're just gonna weigh it, right? Because it's like, y'all gave me like such limited information. You're just like, okay, we're gonna do these skits. We're gonna be funny and we're just gonna play music. And that's it. And I was like, okay, all right, I can do that. And then, and then, of course, like, y'all wanted me to do the poetry, too. So, like, we did that, of course. And so then um, it would just be, like, right before a segment, you guys would say, okay, we're going to do this skit. And then come back from a break. And then it would just be, like, no kind of practice. Just, just do it. <laughs> and so it was just, like, crazy how it would just come together. We would just feed off of each other and keep going. And I think, like, to this day, I still think about that Miss Cleo skit. And so then, like, y'all were, y'all were, like, um, prompting me, because y'all was, like, when we come out of the break, you're going to talk first. And so we came out of the break, and then I just started talking, and I was, like, hello, all of my beautiful people. And, um, you know, like, y'all were trying not to laugh. And then um, you were calling, pretending to be Michael Jackson, and I think <laughs> that's how it all started. And so it was, it was a crazy wild time. But, like, um, to speak to your point about... Um, how influential you guys have been and how like the longevity of the GOB. Um, I think that that's been amazing. And I've always supported y'all, of course, and been always looking forward to the things that y'all have produced over all of this time. And like, uh, you know, all the talent, you know, like uh, Jasmine, you know, and Murder, all of them, their, their shows, like I listen to all of it. And I think that it's just been amazing how all these people come and you mold them into who they are now. 